Hello, hello, hi, this is Christine Crow here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can be the most productive care providers. This is something which 99% of care providers aren't doing in their care business. And today I'm going to be talking you through the things that you need to focus on. Listen, it's Monday morning you are going into your office and you need to really be focused so that you are productive, that you are protecting your time. Otherwise, you're not doing your job as a care provider. No one else is going to do it apart from you. So we need to really focus and make sure that we get our parts done that we need to be aware of, that we need to be able to feel that we are participating in running our healthcare business. So join me as I talk about what the 99% are missing out on. And I want you to be able to focus on this. You know what Monday mornings are like. You've just gone through it. You know, usually it's usually the same thing happening every week, which can be stressful. And let's face it if we're not organized if we're not showing leadership and helping our team to be leaders then that is going to put the onus back onto you and you don't want to be doing that right care providers so let's delve in here so imagine right it's monday morning you're in your car you're driving along and you're thinking what am i going to be faced with? What am I going to have to deal with this morning on a Monday morning? And you know that Mondays can be very hectic. Let's face it, it is hectic. So you're driving along, you get into your office, you open the door, you've got a big smile on your face, you go in there with all the best intentions in the world. You're going in there bubbly, up because you've had some time off for the weekend however you know that when you walk in that door that there's going to be things that you need to face and know what's happened and you you'll need to talk about it with your team members if you've got a registered manager or manager then you'll need to speak with your team regarding that right but there's one thing that you need to do as well you got to also pour into yourself. So remember, not remember, being productive is about you using your time wisely and you've got to protect it with all your might. I'm not talking about things that are urgent because yes, you do have to deal with that urgently. However, when it's things that can be dealt with by the care manager or by the management team, for example, supervisor, then let them do it. Let them do their job. Don't control. You go into your office and you look at what you need to do as a director, right? And I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that you can do to really make yourself productive. So you need to block off 90 minutes or at least 30 minutes at a time where you're going to work on the most high value stuff the things the production of what you need to be doing is to ensure that the business is uh, running at the highest level for example so what icebergs are they what um, problems what difficulties is there possibly happening within the business that you need to deal with on a monday morning you may not have finished some of the tasks that you set out to do last week so you're going to have a note of all of those tasks that you didn't do the week before, right? So what are those? Think about it. Do you need to revisit that? What is it that you need to prioritize? For example, what is the three most important things that you need to complete for Monday, for example? So then you've blocked off your time, you've got your items that you need to focus on as a director, and then you then have your meeting, for example, with your urgent team to talk about what has happened over the weekend, how are things going, is there anything that you can 
do to help support your care manager, for example. Now, I'm not saying you take over their role because their job is to manage the day-to-day -day if you are registered with the Care Quality Commission or maybe you're registered to provide a home care service if you're in America, for example. Now, let's look if you're look, running a medical staffing company, for example, and you need to speak with the team, the management team, to see how things have gone, for example. Were there any issues? Is there anything urgent that you need to deal with? No? Okay, brilliant. So now what you need to do is go back into your office and then, and only have that meeting for say 30 minutes and then you go back into your office and you protect your time. So you are blocking off 30 minutes at a time. I always look at blocking off 90 minutes at a time because I need 30 minutes to do the work, then I go through it for 15 minutes, for example. I then am able to take a break for, say, 10 minutes. And I'm going to drink my water because I'm talking to you as a, a person who needs to drink water the same as you. So what is it that you need to do? What 90-minute blocks have you spread out for yourself? You need to think about what contracts have been coming forward. What contracts can you um, see that you check to see whether you did take those contracts on that was um, emailed to the care manager, for example, or the management team? Did you take on those care packages, for example? And if not, then why did you not take them on? Why did the company not take them on? Is there a reason for this? And if it's to do with staff shortages, then you need to put in an advert immediately. You need to get the manager, the person in, in charge, apart from you, to get that done, because that's part of their job, right? The next thing you need to think about is, right, how many hours have we done this week? That's important because you need to make sure that your company is growing. So when you're speaking with your care manager, you've got to meet with them every Monday as well as on a Friday to talk to them about, right, what packages have we had? What packages did we take on? What packages did we not do? And what was the reason for that? Is it a recruitment issue? Is it, you know, is this a concern? Because you're there to grow the business. And you need to make sure that you have the relevant compliance and staff that are able to deliver the service on time at the allocated time, for example. Also, find out what um, calls came in to cover a shift. For example, did you take that shift on or did you not? Why is that? Why did you not take the shift? That is another important factor to think about. And what would that cost be to your company? Now, if, you're, if you've had a shift and it's a 12 hour shift, for example, and you've got the 12 hour shift and you're doing, say, and I'm just talking off the top of my head, 21.99 per hour times 12 hours. That's 263 pounds or dollars, for example. Depends where you are in the world. Now, you imagine if you were turning that away three times a day, that's like 800 a day that you're turning away. And I'm just talking hypothetically here. If you do this times seven, that is $5,541 or pounds, for example, that you're turning away. That, over the course of a year, I mean, that pays for, for wages, doesn't it? So, let's look at this. If you times this, for example, by 52, that's 282,000 that you're turning away on a yearly basis. So, you've got to look at what those losses are. And do you understand where I'm saying that the productivity comes into this as you being the leader. You want your team members to also be leaders as well, because it's not just you being the leaders, they need to be able to lead themselves. Now, 
have you turned down any care packages? Right. What's the reason for that? What is the the pressing pressure, the high pressure point? Why you're constantly turning these packages away? Is it because the staff members are turning them away? Because they don't want to grow the company? Because that can be a reason. I've been there, done it, worn the t-shirt. Is it because you don't have enough staff members, for example? Then you need to look at advertising for staff, for example. Then the next thing is that you've got to look at in terms of the productivity. Is there ways that you can hire out team members, for example, that's not going to be um, high value work, like administrative tasks? Like we have a virtual assistant agency, for example, and we help people with um, administration tasks, for example. We also help with making calls to uh, get business in for our clients. We also do social media. But you've got to look as a care provider, what is it that you can do that's going to bring money into your business? So it's Monday morning. You've got your calendar open. What is on your calendar? And I want you to look at it right now. What is on your calendar? Do you have nothing on your calendar? Or do you have things planned out on your calendar? Because you have got to ensure that you are doing your directorship because you're the one that's growing your business. So like for me, I block off time from say nine o'clock till 1 p.m., okay? So the time is blocked in 90 minutes spurts, for example. I try and do a five 90 minute um, block, block time where I'm working on something which is high value, high importance, hard work, for example. So I get that out of the way first thing in the morning. So by the time the afternoon comes, I'm there just doing meetings, for example. Now that is important to, for you as a director to do. So what do you have or what are you doing in your 90 minutes? You've got to think about what are the three most important things that you must do today? So that could be looking at what the um, totals are, for the number of hours that you've completed within your organization. What is the turnover? What is that? What is the staff number of hours that was covered? Because you need to know what the uh, gross profit margin is for your organization. What issues were they that the care manager might need your support in and you're there to help them with that, for example? Then the next thing is, is that you're invoicing. Are all the timesheets in? They should be because, you know, you've got your team members to do that. Or maybe it's you that is looking at those timesheets and getting them verified, for example. If you just started out, that's normal, for example. So what are the number of hours that your business is doing? Are you on track to your mission statement, your aims and objectives and your goals for your company for that week, for that quarter? for that um, by yearly for that yearly, for example, are you growing, for example? So if not, then you need to look at, at why that reason is. Another thing that you need to be thinking about is quality assurance. So how is the company doing quality assurance wise? Has the care manager or care coordinator, for example, called and just done a few calls, for example, say um, to ring service users or to ring the client to could be care homes, for example, or hospitals, just to ensure that they are happy with the service that you're providing. Because if you don't do that, then you won't know that there's an issue, for example. Also, another thing that you need to think about is when are the, you know, the audits, when is that due? For your company are we on track for getting a good rating for example are we doing 
really well in the business, for example? Are the clients being delivered successfully, for example, and they're happy with how you're delivering the personal care, for example, or mental health support, for example? Are there any networking events where the integrated care boards or the NHS, for example, or the commissioners are going to be hanging out? Where is that? These are the things that you need to focus on for that week. Are there any meetings that you need to be in? And have you scheduled yourself into that meeting so that you don't miss it? Because that meeting could be where you could get some clients from, for example. What contracts is it that you need to apply for as an organization? Have you applied for those um, contracts, for example? Think about all these different things and look at how you can deliver that service for example always make sure you're looking at your calendar and set yourself some timely reminders for example on your mobile phone you could do like 90 you know 90 minutes um, block that off so that you're working on the most important task first so that you don't get tired and burnt out for example then you can do your meetings in the afternoon where you can talk freely and it's not going to be too much taxing on your brain, for example, to be able to um, digest and absorb what the discussion is and to be able to participate in that discussion with your team members as well. Now, some people do their meetings first thing and that is the best way to do that, but you as the director don't need to be in that meeting you just need to meet with your manager, for example. Okay, so I just wanted to mention that. Um, another thing is, is that you can use your time to make money. That's what you should be doing as a care provider. Because if you're not the one doing that, then who else is? Yeah, you've got your sales team, but who's driving your sales team? What sales is happening, for example? If you've got a recruitment consultant, for example, are they going out doing visits where they're physically get, getting off their bum, walking and getting in the car, for example, or on transport and going to visit organizations to get work for your company, for example, are they doing that? What is the registered manager doing as well to get business in for your organization? Because this is where they are communicating with organizations to work with them. You know, the social services, for example, pick the phone up, they call them. You know, are there any packages available? Are there any coming up? You know, can you please bear us in mind we're available in that location, for example? All of these things is like a, a cogwheel where you all work together to grow the business because if you as the director aren't doing that as soon as you get in on a monday then what is it that you're doing on a monday i'd love to know i'd love to hear what you are doing on a monday in your business and i'm going to be doing more videos here about what care providers should be doing on certain days because i think it's important that you are aware of you know what your role is and what you should be doing so that you can be the best leader in your organization and grow your business to where it needs to to grow to so think about all of these things i'd love to know what is in your calendar and you can also buy back your time you can get a virtual assistant as well to help you with the petty task the administration task, you know, things that you don't really enjoy doing, get a virtual assistant to help you to grow in your business. So I hope that you found that helpful today. Do click like and subscribe so that I can send you a notification, for example, when we've got the next video for you to um, listen and watch. I'm really pleased that you've watched this video to the end. Do, like I said, do like and subscribe. Join our Facebook group as well. 
and we've got a live uh, coming up at the end of this month, October the 30th. It is about building habits, building habits within your healthcare business. Because if you don't build habits, then you're going to be just running around not knowing really what you need to do within your healthcare business. But I'm here to help support you in that. You know, what are your financials? In looking at what you're making in your business is just as important as well. Yes, the communication, the customer service, the outcomes is important. Um, you need to just make sure that things are running smoothly for your organization because at the end of the day, it also will come back to you if not done correctly. So I just wanted to mention that to you. See what expenses are for the week and then you need to make sure that that is being recorded. There's um, lots of things you can look at. Look at having, say, half the week focusing on that and then the other half is you can be speaking with your management team for example but the key is to look at what directors need to do and that's what um, I would recommend that you add to your Monday routine in your healthcare business so I hope that you found that helpful today like I said like and subscribe to the YouTube channel join our Facebook group Look out for our event, uh, which is, we're going to be doing events monthly anyway. Look out at the next event, which is October the 30th to the 1st, for example, and it's about habits. It's about building habits in your healthcare business. And also it's about health, healthy choices, as well as fitness, wellness, mindfulness, all of those things that we need as care providers. Because if you don't look after yourself, then who is going to look after you in your business? So I hope that you've enjoyed today's training. I look forward to speaking with you all soon. Take care. God bless. Thank you. Goodbye.